Oh my gosh, we've got some wild accusations, we've got some crazy stories, we've got a lot of drama going on with Shiba Inu coin right now, and it absolutely needs to be talked about. Guys, this is one of the reasons Shitoshi needs to get his game together when it comes to transparency, clarity, and so on. There is a huge accusation out there right now saying that the Shiba Inu coin development team stole, ripped off, duplicated another chain or blockchain and called it Shibarium. Now, since those accusations have come out, there's been a little bit of clarity and a little bit of transparency that has been, I guess, deployed upon us by Shitoshi and Cal himself. So we're going to be discussing it because at this point in time, it does not seem as though they forked off or copied or cheated or stole the Shibarium blockchain from somebody else. But they did absolutely have a huge error that came into play that makes them look really stupid when it comes to a multi-billion dollar corporation or multi-billion dollar project being built. Let's discuss it and what it means for you guys. And of course, if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Now look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and a $1 crypto trade is gonna get you $5 in free crypto. Now if you guys want crypto exclusive exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff, you got KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer awards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware, if you're holding on those exchanges, it's going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. If you want it to be your asset, you need to hold it on a cold storage or DeFi wallet. Guys, we got a lot going on, and in Shitoshi, a couple of hours ago, issuing an apology, saying an apologies, or apologies to the developer, Mr. Don GG, and a public and private apology is on its way. And then Cal, one of the, the Shiba Inu coin developer, dispelling some FUD, ever since we did the Alpha Network deployment, few chain IDs were picked randomly, 417, 517, and 917. And these chains were not registered anywhere at that time. I made the mistake of not rechecking when the PuppyNet network was launched. Yes, at least somebody in the Shiba Inu coin community is admitting a mistake here. But, but literally, Cal, this is a, you guys are running a multi-billion dollar project right now. <laughs> the, the chain ID should be checked. And I understand if you guys have a lot going on, but the type of FUD that, that was generated from this, the type of accusations, the losses, the multi-million dollar losses in Bone is because of a dumb mistake. I mean, the, the FUD is not on other people looking in and generating it. It is because of this mistake that was made. Now, without getting into any fist fights, I will be redeploying the beta network with a new chain idea or new chain ID. Fresh deployments will be rare in the future, but are possible because we will still be in the beta phase. I wish good luck to the blockchain and hope we can all work together. And this is going to take four or five days. So Shibarium has already hit a major snag in the road. And this is not something that is, is simple. This is not something that should be overlooked. This is a multi-billion dollar blockchain that is making very, very simple mistakes by using chain IDs. So after doing some research, what happens with this? If you're making a transaction, you've got, uh, I believe the original blockchain is Renia or, or Fire. I might be able to see the name in here in a second. But somebody coded a blockchain. And when you have a blockchain and you have your chain ID, if somebody duplicates that blockchain, okay, as long as they use a new chain ID. If they use the same chain ID that you are currently using, all of those transactions get written onto this blockchain. All of the transactions on Shibarium would be written onto Rinia, or however you pronounce it. 
And that is bad. That is, that's noob level work right there. And I don't even develop blockchains. So it, you can go through and there's been articles written about this, uh, getting into contact with the developer of Rinia. He says that they did not copy his code. Okay, so he's clearing that up right there, that Shibarium did not copy his blockchain's code. And if it's coming from the source, okay, great. However, they did use his chain ID. And he goes through to talk about the, the Rinia was when his grandmother was born, and he was giving, um, she recently passed away, and, and he's... He's basically, you know, making this blockchain in her memory and all of that stuff, which is absolutely awesome. But clearing up the fact that even his code would be open sourced and free for everybody to use, they did not use his code, which is good to know because there's a lot of accusations floating around out there that the Shiba Inu coin development team simply copy and pasted somebody else's code to build Shibarium. And that would have been insane. If that was true, I mean, my good, there, there would have been big sirens going off saying, sell, sell, sell your bone, sell your Sheba right now. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So he goes on to talk about, for context, the chain ID is one of two identifiers for Ethereum blockchains. It's used in transaction signatures and should be different for each chain. This is because if two chains have the same ID transactions, uh, or transactions signed on one would also be executed on the other. Now, even though these IDs are randomly generated, you can create your own. And the ship team with that 917 was using an ID that was already in use on the Renia blockchain or, or Renia's code there. And that's why we got into this huge mess. Now, like I say, guys, there's a lot of, you know, FUD floating around out there. There's a lot of fear floating around out there. The price of Shiba, Shiba Inu coin, is still following Bitcoin, and it's following it very well. So it didn't really affect the price of Shiba Inu coin, but Bone got ripped. Bone fell down to about $1.15. It bounced back. It's trading around that $1.25 mark right now, and that's a heavy loss from the two plus dollars that we were seeing just about a week ago. So it, it is, it's interesting because Shitoshi's original remark wasn't to come in and uh, instill confidence in Shiba Inu coin holders. Shitoshi's original remark wasn't to dispel the negativity. Shitoshi's original remark wasn't to provide any sort of clarity whatsoever. Shitoshi's original remark, and I'm not going to read the whole thing here, was to generate some FUD of his own. Was to attack those original ecosystem members who have gone on to make Paul Swap. It was to degrade them in a way that is degrading in and of itself. If Shitoshi is running a multi-billion dollar blockchain, the stupid bickering between children absolutely needs to stop. You cannot allow somebody to get under your skin when you are essentially in charge of what was once a $40 billion project and now sits between that 5 and $10 billion range. If you are building something big, you can't get caught up in schoolboy games. You absolutely need to have a better head on your shoulders. You need to be a better leader. And you need to lead people as opposed to, to instilling even more fear, more uncertainty, and more doubt. Right now, guys, it's obvious that Shiba Inu coin is okay. But these types of, of rookie mistakes, I don't even develop blockchains, like I said. I'm not a programmer. I'm not a coder. But you don't use somebody else's ID. That's like you're going to make a website, claybro.com. Oh, my goodness. If claybro.com exists, I can't use it. If somebody else's chain ID exists, you can't use it. Simple as that, guys. Hopefully, this clears it up a little bit. The developer himself said that they didn't copy the code, which means that hopefully Shibarium is not some copy of another blockchain, and they just took years to get it out, but they actually developed themselves. So we'll just have to see where it goes from here, because this is a major, major, uh, it's a major news break. You know, we, we cannot have these types of, of mistakes occurring on a billion dollar project. 
I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, Bone getting hit very hard, millions of dollars being unstaked, and, and all of this being laughed at and used as an excuse to basically libel all of the other and all of the old Shiba Inu coin ecosystem team members. I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, let me know your thoughts. And if that one right there is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. And we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance Free Discord. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.